In his job as a window cleaner, Lars Nickel gets to meet all sorts of people. Nickel is actually a photographer by profession and has turned his lens on many of his clients. The only thing his subjects have in common is that they can all afford a window cleaner. My works are portraits with the added dimension that they offer a tiny view into the subjects' homes. I wouldn't call it voyeuristic, and my aim isn't just to show how people live or decorate their space. I just enjoy the interplay. But who wouldn't be curious to see what it looks like behind the windows of Berlin? Lars Nickel has somewhere between two and three hundred clients scattered across the city. He usually cleans their windows twice a year. Nickel came up with the idea for his sideline profession seven years ago when he realized he couldn't make ends meet as a photographer. I mainly clean windows for private individuals because that's a niche that's not addressed by the larger companies. When I clean windows in private homes, I also develop personal relationships. That's good for my photo project and it makes for pleasant working conditions. Nickel uses an analog roll film camera and natural light. That allows him to set up his camera almost anywhere he chooses. He takes about five or ten pictures each time. That's all he needs. About two-thirds of his clients say yes to having a portrait taken along with their window cleaning. You're in a familiar environment, which does help. But it's still a completely unfamiliar situation. You've let a stranger into your apartment, and you're just standing there. And suddenly you ask yourself, what is he seeing anyhow? What's behind me? And what am I revealing about the place that I live in? Nichols photos have also been published as a book, something that probably surprised some of his subjects. But a Berlin-based publisher snapped up the project. Man hat also wirklich you see young hip couples from the Mitte district, you know the kind, right next to a contented retiree from Charlottenburg who is reliving her memories. They're connected by the fact that they live somewhere, but their living spaces are as different as the people themselves. Lars Nickel chose 80 portraits for his photo volume. It's titled Belle Etage. The book also includes short profiles of his subjects. This is a midwife from the Prenzlauer Berg district, and it's one of my favorite pictures, because it fits so well with the title, Belletage, with the furnishings and the picture frame, and the picture itself, which likely dates from the Wilhelminian era. Last year, Nickel was even invited to exhibit his portraits at the Deutsches Haus at New York University. It's also a portrait of Berlin, a contemporary portrait of Germany, and how people furnish their homes. It's probably a bit different than how it would look in Poznan or Warsaw, for example. And of course, in the other direction, in Paris or London, people furnish their homes differently too. Even with one book under his belt, Lars Nickel cannot afford to give up his day job. But he's still happy that his clients and the world have been given the chance to see that he's not only a reliable window cleaner, he's also an artist. <laughs>